Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and today is March 22nd and welcome to our Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community uh, Conference Call and I'm here to give you all of our updates about uh, what we've been doing the last six months. And the main reference of what I want to talk about today from the uh, newsletter and uh, email conference call that has been sent out. And anyone who's on the call that uh, didn't receive one of these uh, emails or message, you can just always email me and let me know, and I can add you to the list. All right, so screen sharing is set. So if you're on your computer or app, you can just flow with me. Uh, right now I've got the uh, newsletter open. But before I start with the newsletter, I just want to give a full reference of everything that I'm going to be talking about and where you can access all the information. So the first thing I want to start with the conference call and all of the uh, videos in reference to the community. So I got the Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community uh, video blog on YouTube. And this is 22 videos, so it's comprised of five conference calls and videos of us actually on the land from meeting the chief to actually seeing the land in its raw state. So the project that we're talking about, uh, we're talking about it from a nice you know, foundation build. The same YouTube, uh, where I have all of my uh, Africa tour videos, so it's uh, youtube.com forward slash bomani2007, and that's just a short link. And every email and everything that I sent out, um, that link is in there. So once you click on the link and you go to my actual YouTube channel, then you can literally just, uh, you see the playlist, uh, Black Star, um, and you just click on the link and then you just scroll through the videos. Uh, the first set of things you're going to see is a conference call, then uh, the videos of us in Ghana. So for those who haven't seen it, uh, that's our, our foundation documentation for you to just process through and any questions you have about that whole a sequence just to let us know. Next thing I have is our Facebook page. So Facebook page is uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Black Star Pan African Community. And what I do is start my best to post uh, all of the documents that I just mentioned, the videos, uh, upcoming conference call, the details, and try to look out for questions. So it's a focus page. So anybody who posts a bunch of irrelevant stuff that usually get deleted. One people to actually post questions, uh, especially those who are not in our WhatsApp group or on you know on the group list of people who actually are committed to the project and have put their money down on plots. Trying to open up you know, that as one way if someone has a communication, have any question based on whatever is posted and usually I look out for that and then you can just communicate. So that's the uh, Facebook group right there and you can just find it by typing Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community or part of that uh, phrase. And then the main thing you're going to see is a you know, nice little green colorful layout or, or community site map. All right, so the other form of documentation we have is just where all the documents and all of the actual the files and things that we get from the land, the legal paperwork. Uh, so that's on our website, africaforafricans.org. And once you go to the website, uh, right there on the main menu, you click on you know, Black Star our community and it will open up and what you're going to see is 10 reference of documentation, overview of Black Star, repatriation and Pan-African community, then you have the uh, site map, land survey, survey and GPS location, uh, lands commission, search, uh, prime objective, business opportunities, building and buying homes, membership rules and code of conduct, membership application, pictures and videos, and the last one is getting started. And as far as getting started, uh, there's something um, that I have to email everyone, but anyone who wants the, the actual application and everything uh, via email, just send me an email and I'll just um, I'll send it to you. And you just look through it, um, open up the list of all of the files, because uh, there's uh, several files on there, including an overview, which uh, is based on what I just read to you as far as a list of all of these uh, actual content or detail of the uh, community. Uh, the email and this actual website here is just give you the full detail of this, everything that you need to know. And then from that, we're just looking to generate questions and want to make sure that people are clear about everything that uh, we're proceeding with. And then if someone sees something that's not going right or 
or certain things and you know we want anyone to just reach out and say hey this doesn't look right uh, or you know and so on it's our full connection to you in this putting everything down and laying it out and then keeping you know, everybody posted in this showing consistent progress as we proceed to this May 30th when is the next time that we'll be in Ghana on the land Alright, so family, those are the flow of the documentation. So now I'm back on our newsletter. Everything that I put together in the newsletter is also the links uh, from the different documentation I just uh, went through. So you find a YouTube link in there, Facebook, uh, website uh, link, and all of those uh, details are all connected. So that's our world of documentation. Alright, so from there, what I'm going to do is scroll down to the conference call to the topic section. Because most of what uh, you see in the first few sections is just giving you when the conference call is, when the next one is, uh, and how to connect to the conference call, Facebook group. Scroll down to where you're going to see a sitemap layout. And uh, this sitemap layout is based on the actual land survey. Uh, and it's cut exactly 15 acres of land uh, designed at 60 plots. And that's six zero plots. And 50 plots are are designated as you know plots for homes and then you have 10 plots uh, that will be organized as security posts, business center, community center and park and then to the right of it uh, which is not on this um, diagram uh, but to the right of actual property which right there you see uh, plot number six that is a future expansion so the goal is to get additional 20 acres of land and do the same layout just kind of work, um, you know, plots at the beginning of the community for commercial or business and uh, try to organize uh, a nice location for some, you know, for a few acres of uh, you know, nice uh, agriculture. But also the goal is to push and encourage in this plant trees and especially fruit trees that's all around the property. As a matter of fact, that's mainly the focus is you're planting the mango trees and there's all your tropical trees around actual property. So the first phase doesn't show a quote-unquote farm or anything like that, but that's in mind, and it doesn't show a school and medical place or anything like that, but the goal is to use your community center and your business center to do as much as you can do for now until we organize ourselves to build another phase where you have more space to do certain things. And uh, for those who may have questions about school or anything, um, one of the ideal things, and, and I've always this, had this conversation, with all my good technical friends, uh, that those of us who have great uh, technical knowledge and things, uh, it just be ideal we just have you know, advanced uh, technical institute uh, in it, and just have all of your school and education and you know, more focus and less junk in you know, our Roman British history or certain things like that. I'm not saying that certain things are not important, but uh, it, the, the focal or the focus is to get more into hands-on and get more into practical learning. And, and, and so on and learning how to just use advanced technology to you know, build what we need to build. Uh, so when you look at a site map, you may look at many different things. Um, the street is literally just cut around to where it just, it just offers less of us just losing land space or us having less land to work with. Uh, so it's just, and then I don't expect a bunch of cars anyway. It's um, you know, moderately laid out in Nothing is finalized, finalized, but uh, there's also flexibility, of, you know, whatever we need. But uh, that's the best that we could come up with as far as just to give you more a realistic look at uh, what uh, the proposed community or future community look like. Once you scroll down, that's when you see the uh, topic and all the documents that I just mentioned to you. You have all those links uh, right there, right before you get to the topics. And I'll go back through some of these before I get to the main thing that we're talking about, which will be more of the uh, committees. All right, so we just went through the, the site map, and that's one version of that uh, site map. We look forward to working on a few different versions, including uh, an animated version that would be perfect, and you know something more, you know, more dimensional. Uh, two, getting started. So talk about the getting started uh, link on the website, and then also anyone who need a getting started email, let me know, and I'll send one to you. 
But the idea is to just get everyone to send out their documents and label the files as best as you can. But a good thing, that way you can also keep up with your own file. I'm one of those folks who just administratively just focus on organizing because you know, I got I feel like I have a, a million files on here and you know, several different hard drives. And um, everything has to be titled or I get confused. But if people already send files, I've already just renamed it and some of the, the files just edited or uh, modified as best as possible to make it look organized as we need. Uh, not expecting everybody to be just you know, business administrators, but at least try the best to um, scan clean documents and you know, just label all your files. Uh, that way you can keep up with it. And also that when we get it, uh, when I download all the files, I can just just go through it and put them in the folders that, as they need to go in uh, before we start organizing them for printing and setting them up there once we get all set up on the community. That's just a heads up. Uh, and for those who haven't sent in their, their getting started documents, just, uh, I would say just reserve about one hour and just read through everything and you'll get it done. It's one of those things where you may just look at it and like, I think it's too much, but it's just, it's um, about 10% of what I had to do to and I get this up, you know, property here. Basically, you scan a copy of your password style photo. The application you can just, it's already typed up, so you can just edit it and uh, you can print it off and sign it, then re scan it. And as far as the, the, the national uh, cr criminal background check, you can just follow the example on the attachment. And then as far as the payment option, just click on payment link. Uh, you can choose Zelle, PayPal, or just any other options. Now, everything is straightforward, but the, the main thing is just take your time, look through it, and then that way we can just have, have everything organized. Uh, the next thing is for those who have their name linked to uh, plots that uh, we're holding for you, uh, we need your deposit and we need your paperwork. And beyond that, anyone that is looking to join us uh, sooner than later, and ready to build or more enough phase of this, want to move sooner or later, let me know so I can put you on a standby list. That way, if you know, one or two plots get opened up, we can just get you set up right away. An update on uh, legal and land aspect of community. And uh, now the, goal, the main goal that we're working towards is getting our land deed uh, May 30th. So I have one more payment to send uh, this week, and then we'll be over the 50% mark. Uh, we'll be able to uh, get the uh, land deed so we can go ahead and register our land as a community and then individuals will be able to register their own land uh, with the land uh, commission in Cape Coast. One of those things where I want to make sure that you have full legal connection with your land and the community and we're doing everything legally by the book as far as our community and getting set up there in Ghana and building good relationships with the people in the community and the chief and respecting and following the rules and laws of the country and not putting ourselves in situations that were unorganized like the people at Garvey Town. Now the legal land search has already been uh, cleared and once uh, since that's done, uh, no one else has to do a land search on their own individual plot because uh, that represents uh, the entire community. Uh, it's just the registration is a little bit different. Um, registering as a group on the 15 acres, but also individuals register their 80 by 100 uh, plot. And if you have more than one plot, you just, just register it as two plot. The final details for all those prices and things like that, um, I just spoke to our brother Kwabna Baka and him and our lawyer, Richard, is going to be working on those things and putting them in writing. So we've been keeping them busy and We've been also making a lot of progress on those things, so just keep, we'll keep you posted. And especially those who are in our WhatsApp group page, our goal is to just keep you fully updated with all of the things in reference to your you know, your plots and everything. And uh, we'll begin to talk more about building plans and things like that. At five, um, land deposits and several payments um, have been made. So like, like I mentioned earlier, we're almost there. The goal is literally to this when we get there next time, uh, shoot the video with us on the land, but also show you that the land is clear and set up as many pillars as we can with individual's name and just work it as organized as best as possible and trying to work to a process where the things that are consistently being done and we're not just you know keep on pushing things off or giving reasons or excuses. 
I'm working on this thing uh, daily as best as you can work on it. Um, since we're already behind with the slowdown of the last folks that we dealt with, the goal is not to you know, speed or run too fast where we're overlooking anything. So everything is being, but you know, for those who do things in Ghana and you know, you know the process to take a little longer than maybe you're used to in your own county, city, or state. All right, so perfect. So we have all those things written in that uh, memorandum of understanding uh, with the 15 acres, or, or the MOU. And as far as grading and clearing of the land, um, we'll keep you updated on that one. And the good thing about it, once they're clearing and grading the land, you don't have to literally wait to the day when we get there. The goal is to get feedback or pictures and videos from Ghana, and you'll see the work being done on the land. That is the goal to keep everybody just uh, uh, fully posted with all the, the documentation as best as possible. I right, don't want to just go and go through some more of this and open up for our questions and answer. But all together, what we talk about, that is really our vision for the community, just to connect with a good, solid group of us, for us to build a strong future where we, we begin to own all the things that we used to just paying all these other people for. Example, our own community power station, our own water supply and things like that. All those things begin to be realistic and they also begin to be realistic um, once we start organizing more of these uh, committees which are going to be based on a lot of research. Uh, seven, uh, we've already been through a few different uh, general reviews of the, uh, the documents so, and you can always review them in general just on the website and just Anywhere you have seen them, even on the WhatsApp, uh, for those who are on WhatsApp. And if, for those who uh, want information, send to them via WhatsApp. Just uh, send me a message and I can send the links to you because sometimes it's easier for you just to click on it and check it out on your phone. So just trying to be flexible uh, with all base of technology and trying to keep the uh, social pages uh, going. Our prime objective literally is to for us to build an efficient community and just be about what we say we're about. Nine, business opportunities, uh, that's going to come from from us just putting our minds together. That's why we have a focused business center. And uh, basically, basically uh, for those who do business, what we do is I'll put our resources together and then we'll figure out what we want to design as far as office space and things like that. So all of those things are wide open. And so what I'll do before uh, we go into these committees, uh, let, let me uh, open up for questions. So let me unmute you. All right, so family, line is open. Press star six to unmute yourself and give your name. Uh, where are you calling from your question? Hi, Bomani. This is Kim. I'm calling from California. My question is, will all of the plots be cleared at the same time and the posts uh, get set up all at once, or are you going to do it on the individual Basis. All right, the excellent question. Absolutely, we're going to clear all the property at the uh, same time and put up pillars. Uh, that way we just have a foundation that looks good, and then we can just build from there. Some people may not be able to build right away. We do understand that. Uh, we're just trying to build a foundation where it looks good. And then we just plant everything that we need. Okay, and my, my final question is, I heard you say we'll pull our resources. So when will we start? anticipating those resources to be pulled together. You can do them now. Uh, you can lead the charge on that, and the rest of us will follow you. And uh, There's plenty of ways to do it. Okay. All right. We can Thank take loans. We can earn, take loans. We can put the monthly money, amount of money together. As with a lot of other things that probably need to all get done, that's why we're going to talk about committees and things like that and focus more on that towards the uh, end of the call. And okay. have a good amount of time Thank to go through it. All right. Now, uh, greetings, Wayne. Uh, hello, hello. How's it going? All right. Yeah, glad to finally join a meeting. Yeah, so just a couple of questions. Uh, in terms of titling the property, we will each have title to our own plots and our own homes. Will we be able to, for example, uh, go to the bank and use um, the document to take a loan uh, in the future if we need to? Uh, yes, uh, great question. 
Uh, that is exactly what is being set up. Not that sham system that Garvey Town has. So I always have to explain that because some of the stuff, every time I get a question like that, that's usually based on what uh, was explained from their point of view. So the goal uh, here is the land will be registered under our group name and then individuals like yourself. Because once we get the deed, that's when we'll be able to do everything. Individuals like yourself will be able to register your plot. First, you get your own individual survey, individual uh, registration. Uh, the land search is already done, which covers our entire property. Uh, so that's so those are some of the things I'm waiting on. Literally, is finalized price based on us individually doing it as a group, as far as some of these things. But you, yes, you'll be able to have full you know, ownership of your property on a 99-year lease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so as far as I think um, I've heard something about 50 years, a limit uh, of 50 years, no more than uh, 50. Have you heard anything about that? Um, can I ask a couple more questions? So yeah, let, let, me answer, let me answer this, this one directly. Now, we have a 99-year lease. That's One of the things I do is I record everything and document everything. So uh, even if um, somebody changed their mind, I was like, I got you right here. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, the chief gave his word, and he put it in writing in the MOU, and he put it in writing, it, and it, it'll be in writing on our actual land deed. And okay. that's what my, the most, one of the most important things for me to get everybody that land deed with our group, mm -hmm. and get everybody set up to do the individual setup. Yeah, you can ask a few more questions. Yeah, I'll just ask two more questions, and then I'll let somebody else. Um, the one, I, I'm sure this was covered at uh, an earlier point, but, um, and I hate to revisit things that, that were already discussed. Hey, uh, hey, Wayne, it's all good, brother. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I've I, I got you. You're all good. Okay. So the question is, I guess, um, will there be an HOA, and who will be part of the HOA in terms of making the rules that uh, govern uh, the community? Um, will there be any limits to size of home, style of home, um, and uh, let's say at some point we decide, you know, I, I, I want to sell, um, will the HOA have to approve that sale, or uh, does the yes. HOA have first, first right of uh, refusal, I guess they call it? As far as that, uh, yeah, you can sell your property, and you do have um, a committee dedicated to that. So that's another thing we're going to talk about in the next well, once you finish the questions, guide it with your next question, then I'll open it up for someone and we'll talk more about um, the, the association because, yes, uh, we have that in place, and the goal is to keep it as organized as possible. And other people will be volunteering for different things, you know, and merely uh, organizing everything, make sure we just flow right. Okay. Yeah, so the last thing is, um, so is it um, is the land swampy? Do we know if, if it's going to take? a great deal of fill to basically uh, level the ground, to grade, I, I guess, the property? As land will be clear and graded. Do yeah. we have an estimation on, on the uh, cost of that? I guess that's the first class. Yeah, it's one of those things that none of us have to worry about. Everything is in the, all those things have been pre-calculated in the cost of the land and the administrative costs. Ah, okay. Um, I, yeah, we'd have to go back and look at notes and all those things. Is not covered is your own individual survey and your own individual land registration. Okay. And which All right. Thank which you. Give you your building permit and things like that. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. Uh, Renee, uh, are you on the call? Uh, let me go ahead and mute you, but some of the information based on uh, some of your questions, uh, I'm going to ask Renee. Go ahead and mute you. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Uh, greetings, Renee. I got you unmuted. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Yes, uh, would you like to share anything about some of the things that Wayne was uh, asking question in reference to as far as the association and us organizing it? Yeah, uh, in the bylaws and in the cost analysis, we haven't determined the actual association dues, but as far as the property goes, once you build your house, uh, remember, we're a community, so the first right goes to us because we are a particular community. We would be the ones to uh, actually, you will actually deal with. 
in uh, selling that property uh, so it can stay within the community guidelines. Um, and so we're trying we're trying to come up with an association cost, and that will be de be determined by the board. Uh, we haven't elected the board yet, but we want to implement it as soon as possible, so we can start saving for any capital projects that need to be uh, that need to be uh, completed on the land uh, to make it sustainable. So I hope that helped. That's within the bylaw out to all the members, but we have uh, gotten the draft together and we're working on the uh, the dues, the uh, actual uh, community association dues uh, language. Uh, yes, Renee, appreciate your energy on that. Everything is uh, flowing good with the document. We all of us have to follow the rules that we all agree on. So appreciate you explaining that because uh, everything priority is for our community, uh, absolutely. And then one of the main things is there are certain people that are not allowed in our community, which is what we have in um, overview and the things that we have talked about. Uh, so it's a community for you know a black power family. So no whites, no Asians, no drama, no people of the, all the different type of al alphabets. You know, no disrespect to nobody. Just being real. Let you know that it's about us doing strong nation building and the energy with a group of people that's going to love and respect each other and that way you know, enough of us to just feel like we have to just be locked into a, a shell in a community, you know, trying to create it to where we can just really connect and do the things that we, I guess we hope that we could have done in America, own land on the African continent. Many things that we can, you know, really just uh, do to this, you know, build this energy so... Um, you know, there's another community for those who may not, you know, flow with this, may feel like the cost is too much, may feel like it's too little, or may feel it's too many restrictions, or whatever the situation be. It's, it's all good. Uh, there is a Pan-African community in Cape Coast called, it's a Pan-African village in um, Sable, then Cape Coast. Uh, so it's all over YouTube, and uh, I don't know if they have a website or certain things. I don't really follow certain things, but... Uh, when you go to One Africa, there's people there that's going to tell you about it. You know, me personally, I don't take it personal. Uh, it's people I know, and, and they're just sharing information. When you look and compare and do whatever you need to do, you know, you have to just do your own uh, research on it. Just that same narrative of many things that they've said is the same narrative of what I heard from Garvey Tan and many others, and I'm just, I'm like, I'm, I've just locked my life into this kind of deal with the best of us, so that's what we're doing here. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Renee, you have any, any questions in general while you're open? Uh, the only question I have is uh, I know they're going to clear the land and uh, we can build any time, so once they clear it and put the posts up, do we have a crew that's going to maintain the clearance of the land? I mean, I don't know if the growth is going to have some adverse effect because I know someone told me that they spray the land to make sure that the growth doesn't come back, but being that we have our plot, there might be a little growth that needs to be maintained. Yeah, perfect, and that's why we're collecting whatever dues we collect. I would try to keep as much as we can to make sure everyone gets uh, paid, but whatever dues we agree on, that's what we're going to use for maintenance. Right now, once your land is graded, you have a good amount of time to build on it. It's not like it's going to spring up. The goal is to grade the land and plant exactly what we need. As far as the numbers of that and the maintenance of that, uh, we'll work it out, but all of that is covered on the first time around based on us uh, collecting land land clearing fee, uh, and put as much as we can to grade in. So we're all good for the first few years. Um, that shouldn't be much of an issue. And I'm sure maintenance costs of getting a crew there. And, and that's another thing, too. I'll, I'll talk to the chief as far as people in the community. So you can offer some, you know, whatever opportunities of maintaining the property to the community first. That's something that I'm sure we'll get to uh, soon. So perfect. So, Renee, let me, if you're not muted already. All right, so next person, can you give your name, where you're calling from? Any question? And, Renee, I got you muted back. 
Pride Family line is open. Press star six to unmute yourself if you have any questions before we go into the last part of what we're doing, which is talking about the different committees. All right, let me put everybody back in lecture mode and uh, finalize the uh, last few things on the topic list. All right, 10 on the topic list. Uh, volunteer for specific projects and committees. And this is, uh, we don't really have a whole bunch of committees uh, started, but uh, this is the 10 that we've organized as best as possible. And for those of us that are, that are committed to the project, uh, you can just send email um, based on what you have interest with, um, or send me a message on WhatsApp, and I'll just communicate back with you. I have A, business and professional affairs. Uh, so one of the main things that you see uh, on the uh, site uh, map is a uh, business center. And the purpose of that is just to uh, be business and professional organized people to the highest level. So those are interested in just doing the different projects in that arena. You know, we'd have to generate, just uh, communicate with me. Uh, so this process, because eventually, you know, <clears throat> we're just going to work through where we just, those who have committed, we just assign people. Right now, just looking to see who is open to what. Uh, safety and security and surveillance. So that's um, you know, organizing this um, a nice safety security detail and projects could be uh, organizing security posts or just making sure you have cameras or you know, it could be anything that's based on individuals who volunteer for that committee and just kind of put things together. So want everyone to unlock their creative thinking and that's what we're looking to you know, get people to do be creatively open and put together what you feel we should do as a people. Um, I don't want to be a decision maker for a bunch of things. So I'm just trying to just organize things and get us to decide. So even with the you know the voting situation that we have, if we need to vote on something, we just vote on it and you know keep it moving. Education, uh, that's for culture and social affairs. So one of the main things of education is it's for us to literally just eventually talk to the chief as far as what land could be donated for the entire community where a top-notch school could be built that can educate everyone in the actual town. Uh, so it's uh, the town is Jahadzi. Uh, so what we're building is for the town, and we're looking to share it with the town. And uh, so things like that, it won't be something where we have to pay for the land. Um, those will be negotiation based on us completing and you know, building a good energy uh, with you know, the community because uh, it's going to benefit all of us as a people in general. And the same thing with this uh, any kind of social affairs is looking to this keep people social as possible. There's a beach two miles you know, from the property, and you know ideal investments would be open up soon for us to this and you know connect with people who can you know who are looking for certain things. Uh, so everything is based on us completing what we have been working on uh, to you know, show progress. And that's for fair, or that's for culture. They can just be a reach out energy to. Folks uh, in African diaspora who wants to, you know, maybe come by and visit, and that's the purpose of um, encouraging more people to build spaces where they can, you know, maybe have a guest for bed and breakfast, and they make their money, and that's you know, their money. Certain parts of the community is set up for, at the beginning for, you know, those things designatedly. Make that connection, and you know, kind of build a relationship because the, the goal of it is to build a town, not like Garvey Town, 16 years of failure, like literally build a town where we have where we're you know self sufficient. Even the business center you know, we have to figure out uh, what we're gonna do as far as designated um, you know, communication or internet. Medical and wellness center, so uh, there's no space to build that so you use what you can use in the community center for now. And phase two you know build a bigger space at the beginning. But eventually uh the goal uh, and after this realistically look to the you know 10 years and you know, look to the future is to build an ideal, you know, beyond this medical center, uh, just like a school, build a hospital there. Some of the things that, you know, talk with the folks, Garvey has something like some of the similar things is just the difference is we're getting 15 acres and paying for it and we're working our way up. We didn't get a bunch of land and then fall apart or confuse ourselves. 
So it's ideal that we just build a you know, nice organized framework and then just look to build out. The hospital or uh, medical center will be land that, you know, we talk with the chief in the community and then uh, we, work, we work together and build it and make it happen. Planning and development, uh, that's another key thing. In these committees, um, probably a lot of things to talk about and that's why I want to get the creative mind to just talk about where do we want to plan and develop and things like that, but and which process to go by and how we're going to organize the money for planning and development. Agriculture, maintenance, and landscaping. So the agriculture is just us planting as many fruits and vegetables uh, all around the property and then phase two, this build a designated agriculture area. Maintenance and landscaping, you know, you want to make sure that uh, the property looks nice and organized. Uh, so that will be a part of um, whatever we work out for uh, goes contributed to this keeping maintenance and landscaping going. Waste management and recycle. So waste management, uh, right now the best thing to do is just get your own septic system, solar system, and or you can just use a designated power from the street. But as far as uh, recycling, the goal is to build an ideal permaculture setting where you're doing composting, you're recycling, and you're just taking serious uh, care of the property. Public relations, marketing, advertisement. So all of the ins and outs of what we're doing is just to build good relationships and just document our stuff, share it, market ourselves, do advertisement of connecting people for investment and business opportunities in Africa. And that'd be a great focal point. So it'll be just many just economic opportunities amongst ourselves. Just right in the when I talk about business center, uh, all those things have to be done. Now, that would just bring more and more business in and just give us more economical resources to build what we need. Probably sound not as simple to some people, but you're billing as you go along and you're using the resources that you're able to capture based on doing business, services, support, consultation, training, things like that. And then based on other means of however anyone feel like we can go and get cash we need other than selling our soul. That's one of the things this is not on the table, selling our soul or selling ourselves. You know, things like you know, like self destructive. Uh so, you know, 'cause then you know, literally just defeat the purpose from even starting. So the goal is to be independent hundred percent continuously. Again, we just have to figure everything out. Uh, bylaws and homeowners affair. So that's your bylaws committees which has worked on bylaws or documents which should just lay a foundation to where everything just is organized. So that document should be available soon uh, within the next uh, few weeks or, or so and that way everybody can check it out, be clear about everything. But the main thing is for everybody to be clear on the overview, that way they're clear about what they're committing to and what they're getting into. All right, so that is all of the committees. So anyone, if you're interested in any of those committees, just literally just send me an email, detail, and then my goal is to organize the names of all the committees. And then just kind of work to just communicate to where we just get a group of people to work on different things and work out their system of how they're going to work it out. And then you know, just kind of connect with everyone every once in a while and you know, figure it out. Beyond the committees, uh, we have two more. 11, future projection and vision to complete this community. Future vision is uh, we can get a whole lot done in the next three to five years and then complete the community in about five to ten years. Um, not a land expert. Looking to just get as much done realistic as possible. And again, it's based on us, not uh, really myself. All right, so last thing, 12, phase two and a standby list. We'll just create that standby list those who change their mind or whatever the situation is, I'll just say just send me an email and just you know, communicate with me. Now once we literally just get a flow of phase two, then we just let everyone know we have it organized. We do another site map and uh, connect it and work it out. What you're going to see right below the topic is this our last group page with us and the chief and the elders in the community. And below that, it goes into a history of where we started from September 2019. Literally a month after we just basically, you know, canceled Garvey Town, like, you know, you cancel Christmas when things don't work out. 
organized my folks and we just went to work and found the best thing. We found paradise now a month later. So some of the Facebook uh, videos and things, are just videos of last year with my brother Kwabina took uh, driving up on the land on the beach. And then I shot my own videos and we look at both of them and be like, wow, this place stays clean. So you're basically in a virgin, empty land area where you're literally just looking to build up civilization and build what you want and you know, get rid of your Georgia powers and your, your, your whatever water supply people in, build it for ourselves. Scrolling down, scrolling down, and you know what you see is more pictures, more pictures, and and a whole bunch of links and the history of what we've been doing. So all of that is tied into this one uh, newsletter, and you now some of it will, will you know keep on being the same, and we just try to just do all the updates, and and then ultimately that give you a chance to just be clear on everything. So what I'm going to do is put us back in mute mode, and then open up for final questions, and then we just move forward. This is uh, Leonard and Carmen, Mobile, Alabama. Uh, greetings, uh, Leonard and Carmen. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, question is, after the land is cleared, will we take up monies from all people involved to build a wall around the property before we build so that the materials are secure? Yes, uh, you that's a lot of building of a wall before we can do things. Uh, we're going to have people on the property, they are watching uh, as we work it out. Yeah, we'd have to get a, a real good game plan to build a wall around a 15-acre property. The money will come from us, what we put together in our dues as a group member. And then, you know, then uh, we can also just probably organize something separate. Uh, so I'm actually just literally just open to everything. I don't really have... You know, all, not really saying it's, it's one or the other. It could be just many different things. Okay, I, we understand. Okay, thanks. Uh, I mean, what do you think? Because I'm trying to get more opinions than anything else. What do you think we should do, uh, Leonard? Well, I mean, you know, I don't, I can't, I can only speak, of course, for myself, but uh, if we start bringing in materials to start building, we would not want those materials to disappear while, you know, <laughs> while we're building. Absolutely. Um, and I would even take a suggestion from my brother Kwabina and the chief himself and then put that in consideration with everything that we look at. But it's to just have people there available and then have our best people there at a level of this trustworthiness. And the same thing I ended up talking to my brother Kwabina about. I was like, you know, everyone has to just be on this honor system you know, even though we have people watching people. That is something that uh, will start out that way, but eventually it will be ideal just to finalize a game plan to just get the property secured, especially when we add the next phase. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you very much. Absolutely. This is Barbara. Hey, greetings, Barbara. How are you? I'm good. How are you this evening, Bomani? Uh, yes, doing well, doing well. Just keeping it organizing. Um, one question, and I think you went over this, I just was a little bit, just want to get a little understanding. When we register our plot, we will actually go to Cape Coast to register at the Land Commission in Cape Coast and not in Winnebago? It's based on the actual region. So the region that we're in is a central region. We don't physically all have to go down and do these things. I'm trying to uh, get our lawyer to work on certain things where we can have an, an agreement and him and an, an, another group work together to get them done for us. Uh, that way things are in process. So, um, but yes, individuals have to register their own land. Uh, that way, okay. to give you true ownership of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So, look, you have your billing plans ready? You know what? I'm I'm still looking around because I'm thinking about doing a couple of things, maybe container home. Can we wait till we get, actually get have our boots on the ground there and look for someone who is who has maybe house plans or is anyone stepping forward with house plans that we can look at maybe? Yeah, I've been trying to beat a few people ahead to come for that. Uh... 
trying to get that organized, but right now it's just, since we never had a whole list of just house options in the beginning, giving people creative options to just kind of just do their research on what they would like best versus just us limiting people. I'm trying to get my brother Prempe to just give me a list of the homes that they do, but you know some of our folks don't keep portfolios. You know what I mean? Well, I just want something very modest, maybe just a two bedroom. Also open to that one also. So this is the open era. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bomani. Somebody want to put together some designs and stuff and give us some recommendation what we can do in that will work. If not, uh, I'll be figuring that out. Uh, we can always just have more people. If you got somebody that's real good at what they do in Ghana and they're serious and they, they got some good prices and they got a list of what they do, anyone in general, you can definitely link me with them and I can talk with them and see what they got. That sounds good. Thank you. Absolutely. Add family, I star six to unmute yourself if you have any questions. I find that's really all the updates I really have and everything that you see that's typed up and online, everything that's all we have. Other than that, got a bunch of projects and a bunch of committees to get some work done on, so we probably never need to talk. We just probably need to just communicate via email. And those who want to join whatever projects, connect with us and I'll just put together all the people that are similar in a specific uh, group and communicate and just work on it. Right now, it's all about committees. This is the best I can do as far as just putting a monthly conference call and then that group uh, open to everybody else's idea and then sending certain emails. Other than that, it's um, we're building energy for our community to be developed and designed by the members of people of the community and not any dictator. And we have overthrown all dictators. And it's like we're looking to get away from this government and just govern ourselves in Africa. And that's the only thing I can think of and work towards every day. Getting away from oppression and getting away from this, not being able to live as we should live as a people and be able to do what we need to do. So found paradise and we just got to find a way to get there and build it up and make it work. And I'm in it all the way. And especially if you calling me and talking to me about this, you're definitely a priority. And really business and after a while we just got to focus on what we need to focus on. I wish you were more prepared you know, and have this thing done already because we'll be in Ghana and we'll be looking from the in tropical Africa like what the hell is going on with the rest of the world. Now we like caught up in this mess like man, I'm stuck here. So family, I'm opening things up for last questions. If anybody want to reflect on this, uh, the madness and See more of the reason why we need to build a self-sufficient community for ourselves in paradise. Well, Barney, can you hear me? I can hear loud and clear. Give your name where you're calling from. Um, Janice, Miami, Florida. Um, I greeting Janice. How the hell you doing, greeting? Um, when are you? I heard you said you're going back. I pick up the time when you're going. When are you going to be there? We get to the community May 30th. But our tour leaves May 25th for Ghana. Okay, that's hopefully when everything, hopefully everything is over by then. Tour is, uh, that tour is a go and uh, still accepting people if anybody want to join. But we're literally going to land May 30th and the goal is to make sure that the land is clear, graded, we have our land deed and we're able to just show progress from six months to six months. The tour is uh, it's a 10 day journey. May 25th and ends June 5th, and okay. you get back here to the U.S. June 6th. All right. Okay. Appreciate everything you're doing, and um, you'll be here in Columbia School. Right, excellent. Uh, you can always call me, and we can always talk about anything you want to talk about. Right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Hey, Bomani, this is Kim. I just want to say to everyone in our community that I hope everyone stays safe and healthy and boost their immune system and is stocked up on some staple items. Don't you mean toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a prepper, so I have, I, if, if anybody needs some, I have plenty. <laughs> I've been prepping for five years. 
<laughs> well, the way things are going, I thought toilet paper was the most important thing that you need for survival. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty, like I said. <laughs> we'll get through this, and hopefully May 25th we'll be heading out to Ghana. All right, cool. So you're the one that emptied Costco's. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Back in December, I emptied it. Oh, uh, man, you must have a used storage facility in the back of your house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything you're doing for us, Bolani. Stay safe. Absolutely. Uh, uh, stay safe, and you too, and as more people may see, this is the reason why we're trying to do all this stuff that, you know, talking about repatriation and living in Africa and building communities. I family, I've gone over as much as I can, and again... Uh, you can different people may be at different stage from this, but the people that are committed to what we're doing, I'll send you a link on WhatsApp with all of our committees and look forward to everybody communicating on that. All right, so once again, family, this is Bomani Tamba um, organizing our Black Star Repatriation and Pan African Community in Jahadzi, Central Region, Ghana, 90 minutes either way from Cape Coast or Elmina. And just looking forward to us organizing and building paradise. And on that note, since we have no more questions or no more updates or nothing else, we'll connect and look out for any emails or messages and we'll just keep it going from there. And then I'll get information out for the next conference call and also the recording for this one. All right, time everybody's unmuted. Good night. Take care of yourself. Put it down. Good night. Be safe. All right, brother. Thank you. Right. Don't take all the tissue at Walmart and all the other things and be ready to get us out of here when the, you know, when the going is clear. We may not let you back out again. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, and don't forget to wear your gloves. Go in public, people, and masks. Emma.